How to create a navigation bar with nested navigation using the GoRouter API in your Flutter app. Start by installing the GoRouter package in your Flutter project. Next, create your router file in your preferred directory. Inside the file, define your GoRouter instance. You can set the navigator key of the router to a global key as defined here. Next, define the routes which are the different pages of your app. Now, to create the bottom navigation bar, we use the Stateful Shell Route API from GoRouter. This will show a UI shell wrapping the main content and prevent the bottom navigation bar from rebuilding each time you navigate to a new page. So, add the Stateful Shell Route class to the routes list. Define the builder callback, which gives us access to the build context, current route state, and the navigation shell. Then return your custom widget and supply the navigation shell to it. For our custom widget, we've created a layout scaffold in this directory. This houses the navigation bar for the navigation buttons and the contents displayed for each page. Inside the widget, add the navigation shell property as shown here. You can also define a key for the widget for improved performance. Next, return a scaffold to the build method, then set the body to the navigation shell. Next, add a bottom navigation bar. Set the selected index to the current index from the navigation shell. Set the on destination selected callback to the go branch callback from the navigation shell. You can also set an indicator color based on your preference. Now for the destinations, we have defined a destination class in the models folder. This class will hold the label and icon for each route. We've also defined a list of destinations for the routes we want displayed on the bottom navigation bar. Back in the layout scaffold, iterate through the destinations list we have just created. For each destination, return a navigation destination widget. Finally, set the icon, label, and selected icon properties as shown here. After that, we can head back to the router instance to declare our branches. Inside the branches list property, define a stateful branch. Inside the routes property, define a go route. Set the path to some predefined routes constant, and then set the builder callback to return your page widget. You can also do the same for the explore page and settings page as seen here. Finally, set an initial location for your router. With that done, we can test out our routes. But first, in the main.dat file, replace the default material app widget with the material app.router constructor. Then, supply your new router. After restarting the app, we see that the navigation bar is rendered. When we tap on each navigation destination, we see the content of the navigation shell change to that of the selected page. But what if you want to add a nested route within a shell route? Simply go back to the router instance, right under the builder of any Go route you have declared, add a routes property. Inside it, define another Go route for your nested route. Set the path, but this time ensure you do not add the forward slash at the beginning. Finally, set the builder callback to the preferred widget. To navigate to the nested route, head over to the settings page. Here, we've defined the button to take us to the profile page. For the unpressed callback, call the push method using the context extension from GoRouter. Supply the route path. Now, instead of setting it to the profile page route, we declare another route and define its full path as seen here. After a hot restart, if we try to navigate to the profile page from the settings page, we can see that the profile route is rendered within the navigation shell. Now, we can also try to pass parameters as objects or other types to the nested routes. For this example, we start by adding a user object class in the models folder. Back in the settings page, create a simple instance of your user. Then, when you navigate to the nested profile page, pass the user instance as the extra property. To receive the user object in the profile page, head over to the profile page. Add the user object to the constructor. We've also replaced all the hard-coded values as seen here. Finally, head to the router file and pass the extra property from the go router state of the profile route to the user property of the profile page widget. And after a hot restart, if we head to the settings page and navigate to the profile page, we see that the user instance is passed to the profile page. And that's a wrap. We've explored how to implement bottom navigation, create nested routes, and navigate through them while passing data or with go router's powerful API. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's your go-to routing solution? If GoRouter is your choice, drop a let's go in the comment section.
And speaking of going places, if you've got an app idea that's ready to take off, we at Hey Flutter are here to help you make it a reality. Whether it's just a spark of an idea or a fully formed concept, our team specializes in turning visions into market-ready products. Visit heyflutter.com forward slash consulting to schedule your free consultation call today. Let's take your idea from concepts to launch together.